Hello, welcome to another App Store optimization session with Incipia. Today we're going to be talking about how to optimize your search campaigns by dimensions. So dimensions are additional optimization levers that you have above and beyond keyword, bid, uh, negative keywords, budget. Those are things like time of day, day of week, age, location, gender, and device. You can see your dimensions if you go to reports in any campaign and then you can see here along the side that you have the ability to see different um, different dimensions in performance along those dimensions. So we're going to pull this back to get some data and download this into Excel. So one thing to mention here is that You'll only be able to analyze day of week, week or month if you go beyond seven days. But if you look in the last seven days, you'll be able to optimize by hourly. So you can say what time of day, uh, are my, how are my ads performing at time, by time of day. Perhaps in the morning, you perform better. In, in the middle of the night, you perform a little worse, um, or your ads do. So that information is available seven days, uh, in the last seven days, today or yesterday. So looking at uh, day of the week, you can see here that we've got all the data uh, last 12 weeks. And let's line up this actual date for the 13th with uh, day of the week, so that's Sunday. So let's transform all these into day of the week. Oops. So here we can see how is our performance doing by actual day of the week, not just date. And one thing that you're going to want to make sure to include is if you don't, if some of these don't have data, like all these zeros here, we're going to have to include another column for count, count to day of the week, and only fill this column with the number one for any days that you do have data for. And we'll see how that's going to play out in the pivot table that we pull all this into. So let's go to data pivot table. And now we can pull in the day of the week. And we can see that here in the rows. And then we'll pull in all of our metrics. Spend, impressions, taps, conversions. And then pull in that count as well. So the count of the count tells us how many instances of each day of the week we have. We can see here that we actually have too many Thursdays and too many Fridays, one more than the rest of the days. While this should still hold out when we're calculating um, ratios set, or averages like tap through rate, cost per tap, um, it will skew your analysis of conversions, taps, impressions, spend, these absolute total volume numbers. So in order to solve this, we'll have to go back and make sure that we're only including um, we're including the same number of days across the week. So you can easily do this just by deleting data from one of the days of the week. So we had there's too many Thursdays, one more Thursday and Friday. So we just remove some of that data. Now if we refresh, we can see that we've got one of each day. Um, now we can pull that out since we've gotten what we needed from it. And now we're going to calculate our uh, our metrics. So there's tap through rate, cost per tap, oops, conversion rate, cost per acquisition. In Excel for Windows, it's easy to make a calculated field. I haven't figured it out quite yet with Excel for Mac, but you can easily do that manually. down. And here's going to be your average row, or your summer total. So I'm going to distinguish it like that. And we can use formatting to make things look a little better. <coughs> and one thing that we like to do is to use conditional formatting to point out outliers, areas where performance is significantly higher or lower than the average, which is exactly what we're doing this analysis for. So by default, you're going to have the highest value show green 
and the lowest value show red. And you can reverse the polarity by selecting the, the other, um, other color scale. So for our, our uh, volume, our positive ratios, like tap the rate and conversion rate, we're going to want to use that green highest value. And for our cost metrics, we're going to want to use the red as the highest value. We want to have to pay as little as possible for our, our installs and our taps, or our conversions in our taps, rather. I'm going to clear the totals row down here just to make these a little more vibrant. <clears throat> so here we can see our performance by day of the week. And we can see that on um, Tuesday, we have very significantly, well, we have good performance, better than the average according to our conditional formatting. We have a cost for acquisition of 40 cents versus uh, 59 cents on uh, Friday. Conversion rate is 53%, Friday it's 42%. Um, we have a lower cost per tap and a higher cost per tap on these two days. So we can see that Tuesday, uh, things are looking pretty good, and Friday, things are looking pretty grim. So, a couple things. So, f from this point, you might be thinking, you know, like, let's go, Tuesday. Um, how do we optimize for it? Friday, let's, let's get rid of that. A couple things to make sure that you're making the most informed decisions before taking action. So, first, you're going to, we can see that um, cost per tap is not significantly different on average. Tuesday is just a little bit below, Friday is just a little bit above. So first we're going to make sure that the actual percentage difference between each of these values is significant. And we can do that by subtracting or identifying the, the difference from the average. So you're going to this and pull this down. So here we've calculated how f how uh, how far above or beyond this average value is each one of these days performance. So how far below this uh, this average cost per tap is Tuesday's actual cost per tap? It's only seven percent below. It's not too significant. However, its cost per acquisition is 20% below the average, which is pretty significant. And Friday's is 19% above, so that is significant as well. So when, when doing this analysis, make sure that you're looking at, especially if you use conditional formatting, make sure that you're looking at a, a true difference. And I'm going to use a different, uh, different color here so that we don't confuse the same because I'm applying it to all of these. Um, I'm just highlighting where the difference is higher or lower uh, without indicating that it's good or bad because we mixed up TTR and CPT and, and things together. So make sure that you're looking for differences, outliers that are significantly above or below the, uh, the average. And you can actually get, um, you, know, you can calculate the standard deviation and the mean around the mean and identify whether it's a uh, standard deviation above or below. Um, that's the next step in becoming more confident, but for the purposes of this demonstration, this is significant. We identify that Saturdays, tap the rate is significantly below. Uh, Tuesdays is significantly below for the cost requisition. There are some also pretty stif significant differences uh, for some other days. But at the end of the day, uh, so that's that's item number one for making sure that you're making uh, informed decisions. Number two is to identify your KPI. There are four different metrics here that we could use to identify whether performance is good or bad, but selecting a KPI, what we care most about, key performance indicator, is going to help us identify um, when and where we should take action. So tap the rate, at, you know, is significantly higher on Sunday, uh, as well as Thursday. It's it's great. It's 15% above for both, 19% above for those days. However, if we make uh, a decision on that, you know, uh, 
Sunday's cost per acquisition and conversion rate are significantly the conversion rate is double digit percentage worse and the cost per acquisition is not that much better so the purpose of a KPI is to tell you where to focus where to look when you're trying to identify good or bad performance um, so by selecting a KPI as CPA we know that we care most about this column right here and this is where we're going to be looking for um, outliers to be identified. So the third thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that we have enough data before we make any actual decisions and take action. We only have one of each day here and we have one week's worth of data and we don't have significant amount of spend on the, any of these uh, or impressions, taps, or conversions. So before we actually make a decision on this data, we would probably want to look at this for 28 days, which would give us four of each each day, seven, um, four weeks, uh, which would also not give us too many of one day or too many or too few of another as 30 days would. 28 days worth of data, or if you have a, you know, tens of thousands of spend um, through this whole report, or thousands, tens of thousands of impressions, or thousands of taps or conversions, then that could also be significant in a smaller amount of time. Just make sure that you're looking at the same number of days. Um, for each instance so that you've got you know good consistency and context so here we'll probably want to keep an eye on Tuesday and keep an eye on uh, Friday to see whether these trends continue out over the next several weeks and they hold true if they do and the next time around we see that performance is negative 25 percent and here performance is um, let's say negative uh, nine percent above then what we what this would tell us let's say that this is week two let's make it all consistent So what this is telling us, let's say that these are the, the week two, three, and four values, is that Tuesday is consistently outperforming in our KPI. Uh, CPA is significantly below the average throughout the weeks. And Friday is mostly. Uh, we see two instances of 19%, but otherwise it's 9%, 12%. So using more data, we could come to the conclusion that Tuesday is definitely an outperformer. We want to optimize for Tuesday. Friday, perhaps. I would say that we might need a little more data before we're sure and want to take action because it, you know, improved. It's not, it's not as far of an outlier uh, in performance as Tuesday is. So, then, what do you do once you decide to take action? Tuesday, we want to optimize for that. You have two options. You can either split out, you, you can optimize at the campaign level or the ad group level. So by this we mean you can split out your your dimension, your performer uh, or underperformer in, in that case by a new campaign or a new ad group. The reason that you would want to split out uh, into a new campaign is if you want to control budget. So if your average Average but daily budget is $100, <clears throat> and you want to give you top performance, top performer Tuesday more budget than splitting on a new campaign for just targeting Tuesday for your keywords and ad groups would enable you to do that. Otherwise, it's it's a little bit it's a lot more work to split out a campaign and manage that. So we would recommend splitting your performer or your dimension into a different ad group, which give you control over bid, um, keywords negatives, um, hopefully soon, ad group, uh, ad control. Um, but the main main levers are going to be increasing your bid or decreasing your bid for an underperformer um, to try and bring the return on ad spend or their ROI in line if it's underperforming or to get more from it and get more total conversions overall if it's an outperformer. Keywords, 
So maybe you want to expand your keywords. I suppose match type is another one. Maybe you want to uh, expand your keywords and bid on new keywords um, or bid on keywords that are a little more expensive that you know this uh, for your top performer. But you know because it's a top performer, you may it may be worth it in the end. Um, negatives as well. You may use fewer negatives if it's um, a top performer. You may use more negatives if it's an underperformer to try and control the performance and match type. So there's exact, broad, and search match. Search match is pretty broad. Um, it goes after a lot of different keywords. Broad match is also pretty broad. And exact match, you know exactly what you're getting into. So for your outperformers, you're probably going to want to go as broad as possible to capture as much volume. Um, and then you're going to want to report to make sure that you, these, these, this good performance that you see is not destroyed by optimizing for it. Um, and for your underperformers, you're going to want to tighten your match types. So for Friday, for example, if, if this was you know, all negative 20%, then we would say there's a problem here, or 20%. Is a problem we need to optimize for this we're gonna get rid of search match on Fridays and get rid of broad match on Fridays or at least reduce the bid by 25 percent um, or you could probably want to line it up with uh, your actual difference in cost per tap or your difference in cost for acquisition but we we'll would reduce the search match we're gonna turn off because we're not getting good performance from that, you want to pull a report to see how search match is doing on Friday specifically. Um, reduce the bid for broad match, and we're going to, you know, keep exact match. So, those are a few ways that you could optimize for dimensions like time of day, day of week, geographic, uh, device, age, gender. Um, but the most important thing is to pull the data and analyze it and be sure that you have enough data to be confident in a decision before making it. So that's all for today. Um, this intermediate overview of uh, dimensions. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel uh, so that you'll get updates on new videos that come out. And also please um, let us know what topics that you're interested in learning about. If there is uh, something that we haven't covered thus far that you are really itching to learn about, uh, send an email to hello at incipia.co or tweet to us. Um, just let us know, and we're happy to answer your question through email or uh, do a video or write a post explaining an answer uh, to your question or some more information on it. Uh, we really love doing this stuff, writing posts, creating videos, um, taking all the knowledge that we've gained and are continuously gaining by the day to help everyone else uh, understand how to better optimize their search ads campaigns as well as App Store optimization. So please follow, uh, sign up for our email list, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and um, stay tuned for more updates. Thanks.